Hello. Do you want to play a game? The Illuminati Card Game is a game created by Steven Jackson that predicted future events such as 9-11, Donald Trump, COVID, and the Capitol Riot, just to name a few. The greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated to. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bars and you think you're free. free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers. This card reads, drop your kids off and we'll take care of them, so to speak. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. Alright, so this card definitely got to be the Trump card. And if you read the card, it says, At any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. If that ain't some shit he'd say, I don't know what is. All right, then you got the um, March on Washington when they bum rushed Washington and uh, beat up the police. One cop got killed, all that stuff, you know. Then after, uh, and a few years back, back in 2004, remember when that tsunami hit Asia from a, uh, what was that? 9.1 Richter scale earthquake. Yeah. The quarantine card. Uh, you see a mask, gloves, and a needle. And then here's the corruption card where you see cures. And on the card it reads, the black market and relief supplies is growing daily. I think that represents uh, that this is a money grab as far as the uh, VAC goes. Uh, this is an old card. I didn't know who it was at first, but then when I seen him, I was like, oh, this got to be Obama. Because he got a whole lot of backlash that first election. But then that second time, it was like they couldn't touch him. They couldn't say nothing bad about him because this is his last time being president. You know what I'm saying? And they censoring everything. So there's a little something, something for you to check out. to complain about your cartoon. I disapprove of the use of dynamite. It is imitable and could endanger the life of a child. Where would a child be able to buy dynamite? Are you saying your channel and sponsors don't care about our nation's children? Okay, no dynamite. I'm sorry, we can't allow that either. But a child can't lift an anvil. But he might hurt himself trying. <laughs> ah, ah, no running in the road. And of course, no violence. Oh, no, 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 no. I, w I wasn't really going to bite his tail. The joke is that he's going to give me my own tail. No jokes, please. The child might laugh and choke. Can we keep the music? No, thank you. It's the gateway to rock and roll, which is the root of all evil. Repeat after me. Uh, it's for our own good. It's for our own good. It's for our own good. No, no, guys, wait, look. I would never imitate what I see on TV. Guys, come back. <laughs> Barcodes. They're on everything. Price tags, airline baggage, the backs of highway signs. You can't read them, but someone can.
Tonight, the highly anticipated report on unexplained aerial phenomena is here, but the answers are not. U.S. government officials examined 144 reports of UAPs like these and still don't know what 143 of them were. Among the possibilities they considered, debris in the air, atmospheric conditions, secret U.S. equipment, a foreign adversary's advanced technology, or simply other. Earth first, and the card reads, think globally, blow things up locally. Cattle mutilation. Their weird rituals foretell the future, and more. This is an interesting card. It says they'll never get it, even when they're flying overhead. The Church of Middle America. All right, so that's the Lion King. And the next card is about subliminals. It says the secret of mind altering messages are hidden everywhere. People laugh, but the flat earthers know something. Energy crisis. The crippling energy shortage affects power blocks worldwide. Ditto head. Ditto head is a person who mindlessly agrees with an idea. Clipper chip. All government groups in your power structure gain the ability to listen in on phone conversations worldwide only for legitimate law enforcement, of course. All right, so this is the conspiracy card. And as you see, it has con in capitals. And the card is actually in German. And it says... I had to look it up. It says that there is always someone controlling you. <laughs> Bro, what the heck, man? They coming around again. This blaring sound startled many in the small town of Crowley, Louisiana. All of a sudden, you just hear the purge, which is going, you know, I know it's famous right now. Um, it just caused a lot of havoc, um, a lot of chaos. Um, you hear the, the sirens blaring. They're just super loud. The purge, when all crimes, including don't want to become victims, lock themselves in their homes. The start of this period is signaled by a horn. <laughs> The same sound Crowley police used to announce the COVID curfew. It made a lot of people very on edge. Ty Abshire, a Crowley native. It's called gene editing. It's altering DNA, and it's one of the things that our intelligence shows that China is doing. They've got a, the PRC, the People's Republic of China, has two million strong in its military, and it's trying to make them stronger through, uh, you know, gene editing. And that's just one of the ways that, uh, uh, you know, China is trying to um, essentially dominate the planet. First thing we do is kill all the lawyers is the first line of a play by Sh William Shakespeare. The headline on the other major news story today to which we intend to devote some time is very simple. Hello, Dolly. In February of 1997, a Finn Dorset sheep named Dolly sent waves of future shock around the world. The first living, breathing clone of an adult mammal. It's possible. If they were cloning sheep back in 97, who knows what they're cloning now, so. And um, this next card is the pizza card. And I always thought it would represent a uh, pizza gate when they found out all those politicians was doing stuff to little kids. But then I got to dig and then I read the card. And the card says, um, is this the secret meeting? Here you go, sir. Double cheese, pepperoni, anchovies, green olives, black olives, mushrooms, and a microphone. I can't see what happened. Oh, 
god. The music is getting me. <laughs> okay, yes, I think so. I think so. Get it, get in position. Oh, I'm in position. Cross arms. Facing the door, remember? The moment of truth. This is what we got prepared for. Oh, man. Good. This looks awesome. Please put the pizza on the Don't table if I want to come in. But I will anyways. Oh. Holy shit. Alright, I'll put the pizza on the table for God's sake. That's on the tip. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, shit. Who's gonna put their print on this receipt right here? That will be me. Here you go, sir. Everyone have a bountiful feast. Thank we you. have some questions for you. What are they? How many Parmesans did you bring? One big one. Chili peppers. One big one. Oregano. Thank you. No <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We have some questions. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was improv right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this last card is tape runs out. I uh, was going to read the whole thing, but I'm not. That's why I did a listener discretion. Um, it basically, uh, people thought it was referring to the rapture, but uh, I had to look it up. And it actually was from a radio show that was a parody uh, called Sub Genius. When the rapture comes, I'll make them wait. I'll never clean my cage. Now give me some more of. I'm supernatural. I can bend crowbars with my meat axe and the thought. My droppings bore through the earth and erupt volcanoes in China. Yes, I can drink. Drink more wine to stay sober than the heathen Hindus in Asia. Hee-haw! Gut blown. I'm a moray eel. I'm a Komodo dragon. I'm a killer whale bereaf its pup. I'm a triple backbone. I was seared by the wolf man. Give me all your slack. I told Jesus I wouldn't go to church and he shook my hand. I have my own personal slavers and I change them every hour. I don't give a F if there's life after death. I want to know if there's any F in slack after death. I'm a damn visionary. I see the future in the past in comic books and wine bottles. I eat black holes for breakfast. I bend genes and whittle my DNA with the sheer force of my mighty will. I steer my own damn evolution. I ran them out of heaven and sold it to hell for a profit. I'm enlightened. I achieved nirvana. I took it home with me. Yip, yip, yippee! I'm so ugly, the speed of light can't slow me down. Gravity won't tug at my cuffs. When the rapture comes, I'll make them wait. They won't clean my cage. Now give me some more. And that was part of the Subgenius Radio Show and the tape cut. Good night. Perfect.